I wish you I wish you would have let me talk first. It's hard to go behind something that good. You know, uh, I didn't write no speech. I didn't do none of that. I'm just coming from the heart. I seen the kid basically saying he wanted to create a film and you know, I had the skill set to do it and I was like, "Listen, I'm gonna be honest, you can't afford me." You know, cuz it's expensive to do it. So I was like, "You know what? I I'm going to do it for free. Whatever you need, let me know. I'll do whatever I can to help you push your dream, your vision, and take it to the next step. You know, it was like, and I was like, I have to, cause I mean, my, my background, I'm, I'm a military guy. I was in the army, you know, I served. I went to Afghanistan, I went to Iraq. And then you look at our country now, it's crazy. So I was like, this is an opportunity to give back to somebody and help them change because our world is crazy, man. People are fighting each other. You got COVID, people hate each other. Like people are, you know, I don't want to get into that, but I was like, I got to do something. So he, he told me what he had. I brought him to my house. We started going through the vision and I was just there for guidance. I was like, I'm not going to change your vision. I'm just going to help you execute it. Like stuff that you can't shoot. I'll just let you know guidance because I'm older than him. You know, I was like, I don't think you can show that. Let's do it this way. Let's change it up. And he was all for it. And look what happened. Yeah. You know, we met Bianca. We met Lucy. The kids were awesome. Dylan. Yeah. I don't know if they ever acted before. They did amazing. This was my first time ever doing something like this. I was, it was a nightmare. I was nervous. I was more like scared because I didn't have no help. We didn't, I didn't know enough people to bring that was going to do it for free. You know, like me, I was like, that. I don't know nobody. I got plenty of people that'll do it, but they ain't gonna do it for free. And I was like, I can't pay them right now with the, with the world's going. So we just did what we can and all the school, schools just opened up their doors. People were so helpful. Pe families and mothers provided food. And I was just like, man, that's why I'm doing it. Cause there's other people willing to do stuff. Stuff that you don't think, look the small things. It's always the little things that take stuff to the next steps. And I'm just happy to be part of it. I'm happy to, a young man take his vision to the next and love lovely young ladies dylan you know they want to pursue acting i think they have an opportunity you know so that's why i'm here that's it <laughs>
best takeaway I got for anybody that wants to step into this world, practice, 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 and study. And if, if you understand lighting and you understand how audio works, lighting will make an iPhone look beautiful, believe it or not. Awesome. So obviously you just basically said that the best way to learn film is to is through experience and through learning. And um, youth, uh, youth and faith films provides that space. You know, with this project, you um, introduce so many students and so many aspiring, you know, actors and people that want to learn film to this world. And, um, you know, how do you see that really impacting just anybody interested in this industry moving forward, especially as the platform grows? I think it impacts everybody. I think it impacts future filmmakers, future people that want to direct, produce, because that's what Gary's actually doing. He's not, he, this platform ain't for him. He, yeah, he created it, but he wants to give this to, to the students. He wants y'all to come in like, hey, listen, I do this, I do that. And even that he writes a film, if somebody said, hey, I want to be a director, he would let you 100%. So there, this opens doorways for anybody. And if you have an acting background or anything, do it, you know, because you never know what happens. I, most of the people that, we, that I worked with, they were shy. And I was like, there's no reason to be shy, it's just us. You know, like, and that comes with communication. Once you communicate to people and you teach them and just l making them feel comfortable with you, they won't be so um, fearful of the camera. It's hard to talk in front of a camera because it's awkward, you know? So once you learn that, that the camera's not there and visualize and just learn your role, you'll be fine, I promise. And so obviously you've been through high school, you've been through the hard struggles that teenagers face on a day-to-day -day basis. And um, why do you think it's so critical that teenagers get to see this on the screen? They get to relate with other you know, people who are going through the same thing that they're going through and especially kind of delivering that through film. What's your stance? Because from when I went to high school to what's going on now, it's completely different. Um, I, I think I grew up in a time frame where we knew how to communicate a little bit better, you know, because we didn't have this crazy technology. Like if we wanted to talk to somebody, we still had to write it down on a sticky note, you know, make a paper plane and throw it, you know, across the classroom. Now you can send a text or you can send a DM. It's crazy. So the attention span is just different. People are so distracted and 30 seconds is long now. I could send you something, tell you to watch something hey, watch this video and it can be 30 seconds long and I guarantee you watch 16 seconds and put your phone down because you don't got the attention span no more. Life is changing, it's evolving so fast. So um, I think this platform opens up those doorways and it helps people share those stories that are affected by certain things, definitely. That's awesome. Um, so I know you were talking about young aspiring filmmakers and kind of giving your advice to them. If there's something um, you know, more that you could say to young people that want to pursue cinematography and pursue editing. Um, I know you said practice, but what's kind of another, um, another piece of advice that you would give them? The best advice I would give, so I got a, I got a bachelor's degree in film. I went to Full Sail University. Um, I do not recommend that you have to go to college to become a great filmmaker because I've never, ever, ever worked on any film set and I've been on plenty and any one of them asked me, hey, do you got a degree? They don't ask that. Can you do the job is that? And you could do the job, that's all they care about. And you can learn from just having a mentor. YouTube and a mentor is probably the best teacher. Mentor YouTube. That's what I would recommend for a young, inspiring filmmaker. And go do it. Go mess up, because you'll do it better as you mess up. You don't get better when you do things right. You get better when you mess up. Awesome, and last question. Um, you know, obviously, um, like, you know, pe teenagers go through, you know, all of these really hard things and with any dream that, you know, teenagers might have, um, what advice and how do you think this platform helps those teenagers that have those dreams to really achieve them? Um, dreams, dreams stop when you don't do it. It's that simple. Like if you have a dream, you have to actually go do the work for the dream to become reality. If you don't go do the work, the dream stops. You allowed it to die. And a piece of you died with that, believe it or not, because dreams can become reality. Nobody can tell you that 
your work is good enough, not good enough for whatever you're trying to do or anything. Don't listen to nothing negative. Anybody has anything negative to say about anything, keep it moving. Don't even look at them. Show the next person. And obviously, would you say this platform helps with that and helps to teach? 100%. This platform is for people that have any type of, you know, if you got, I'm, I'm scared, I'm shy, this platform's to help you, you know, because we're using God as well to help you because you should take all your problems to God anyway. Let God fix them. That's what God was there for. God fixes problems. You know, God is your therapist. God is your, your leader. God is your provider. Simple as that. Awesome. Is there, anyth is there anything else you'd like to add? No. I just wish all the people that want to be part of Young in Faith um, films or production help. That's all we need. Help. Even if it's something like just picking up a bag or something, believe it or not, you're helping. The small things are big things, believe it or not.